Hi, so what we're looking at today is a graphene-coated sound that we've come up with. Now, graphene-coated sounds are, are one of the big areas of research for water purification and water filtration. Um, graphene-coated sand beds operate at something like 20 times the efficiency over um, normal sand beds in the removal of organic and inorganic and bacteriological pollutants. Now, RICE are reporting a graphene and graphene oxide-coated sand they call magic sand, and um, that's the reported figures from them. Our sand, which is um, here, actually performs about three or four times better than Rice's sand and has the additional benefit that doesn't require esoteric methods to actually produce it. It can be produced simply um, anywhere in the world from locally available materials. And as you can see, it's a kind of greyish black colour demonstrating the carbon loading and it's quite silvery when you see it in black, showing you that it's actually graphitized. This material, we can change the uh, carbon loading of it quite easily to get different results from it. Now, there are many configurations uh, that you can apply this in, and one of the simplest configurations that you can use is a sandbed. And a sandbed is very good for removing pollutants just by letting the water gravity feed drip through. And to demonstrate that, what I've got here is a 10 centimetre tube filled halfway full with the graphitic sand. And to demonstrate pollutant removal, what I'm going to use is Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is notoriously difficult to remove the dye stuffs from, and it retains the colour. So just dripping the Coca-Cola through as it comes through, you can see there that it's coming through as a clear water. All of those dyes of the Coca-Cola have been removed. Okay, so it clears through at about 2.5 millilitres uh, per second on this one. That's basically the drip and the drip that you, um, time that you can see. And as you can see, it's just clear, creating a nice clear solution. That's the first configuration, and now we'll move on to the second configuration. Okay, so the second configuration is this configuration that we've got here, and for obvious reasons, various elements of it have been obscured. Suffice it to say that the active component is actually in this white bulb here. And it's used in just the same way. Uh, now I've taken a walk down to um, the seaside, because I live by the sea, and collected some seawater. And you basically just pour the seawater through, and as we did with the Coca-Cola solution, just let it drip through. And it drips through at a rate of about 2.5 millilitres a second, something like that. It's quite slow. Okay, so in order to get some idea of how well this progressed, uh, that would be visual for the camera, what I thought was that uh, resistivity would be a good measure. The idea being that the more salt there is in solution, then the, um, the lower the resistance would be. The less salt, obviously, the higher the resistance. So what we've got here are three samples of water. We've got the desalinated water here at the end. We've got a municip municipal supply here, which is just straight from the tap, really. And here is the seawater that we got. Now, if I put it into my desalinated water, so I just hold that apart, stick it in there, and give that a little bit of time to settle down, you'll notice that it's on the 200, uh, the 2000K, because the resistance is obviously going to be particularly high. And that looks like it's settled down at 560, 600. Oops, it's not settled down yet. There you go, 641. So that's the desalinated. And then pop it into the municipal water supply. And it's settling down seven eighty, seven ninety. Now pop it into the seawater.
and about 470. So as we can see, we've had quite a, a marked impact on that. We've removed a great deal of the salt from the seawater to find our, salinate, our um, desalinated water. And in fact, it's actually, um, it's not too bad actually. Can't really taste the salt, a tiny bit in there, but can't really taste it. Um, and there we go. So hopefully that's a nice visual demonstration for you. Thank you.